Hello, this is Keith All, and today we'll be discussing how to open a form using VBA in Access 2016. We'll also be discussing uh, the close command also with this. So, in order for us to open a form or even a close form, we're going to be using the do command object. So what does the do command object do? It allows you to run specific actions within your VBA code. Examples are opening and closing forms or even moving to a specified record. Now the close method, uh, what does that do? It performs a close action. So the close method has parameters to it, and all these parameters are optional. And it goes in this order. Parameter one is the object type, then the object name, and then the save um, option. So the object type, it's a constant value that represents the type of object to close. In other words, it, it could be a form object, a query object, a report, or even a table object, plus many other objects there are in a database. Now, the object name parameter is a string expression that represents a valid name of an object of the same type selected by the object type argument. So in other words, this string expression, if it's a form that you're trying to close, then that must match this object type that you specify over here. So this object type must represent a form object. Now the last parameter is save. Again, this is optional. It's a constant value that specifies whether or not you want to save changes to the object after you close it. Now this example here is exactly what you'll be seeing in my code in our example once we open up my database and I'll show you how this works. But you type in do command close. The first parameter here again it, it is optional but this first parameter here is of type form object. This is a constant uh, uh, value that you put here, which is AC form. The second parameter, you're going to specify the name of the object, which is of the same type of what you specify over here. In this case, I'm passing in an extreme, a string expression. Uh, naming the exact form that I'm going to close. This form is exactly named contacts list in my database. Now the open form method in access performs an open action. And the open form method has seven different arguments to this method and only the first argument is required. And this is how I use it within the example that you'll see. So I'll, I'll only discuss the first argument to your open method, open form method. And the first argument is called form name. And again, it's a string ex expression. That's the value valid. That's the valid name of a form in the current database. So here's the example line of code that I have in my database that you'll see. It's called do command dot open form and then you pass it a string expression of the exact name of your form in your database. So let's now go over to the database and you'll see exactly how this works. Okay, we're in our database and this first form is called contacts list. And on this form, I have a button that says Add Contact. And what this uh, button will do, it will close this form and then open another form that I specify 
and the code behind this button. So as you can see what will happen as I click this button. See, it closed the contacts list form and opened the add new contact form. So let's now look at the uh, uh, code behind this. So let's go into the design view. Let's click on the button. Let's go to the property sheet. And this is the event, the clicked event of this button. So we're going to go over here to the properties, click on the event tab. And as you can see, I already have code for the on clicked event. And I'm going to click this builder button over here that brings us to the code. So again, this is for the button, uh, for my button, which I called button add. And it's for the clicked event for that button. Again, the first thing that I will do is when the user clicks on that button, it executes this line of code that says do command that close. And the first parameter is of type object type. What object type do I want to close? And this is a concept value called AC form. And then the second parameter is I'm going to pass it uh the name the exact name of the form that i want to close in this case is called contacts list the second part of this after it closes the current form uh, the contacts list that we run it's going to open up another form and we're going to be using the open form method and again there are seven arguments and I'm going to pass it uh, the name of the form that I have in my current database. And that form is called Add New Contact Form. So this is how you can use the open form method in your uh, Access Database. And also, this is how you will be using the closed uh, method of the Do Command Object for you to open and close your forms in your Access database. I hope this uh, ex explanation was helpful for you today. If it was, uh, please like and share this so other people can benefit by this explanation because there are other people out there that, will, that want to learn how to do this. Again, my name is Keith Aw, and I want to thank you for stopping by today. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye now.